with Acumen International and today I'd like to discuss with you the proper techniques required when operating our quick release valve seat puller. First, please be sure you are wearing the required PPE. Secondly, inspect the tool prior to use to make sure it's working correctly. Third, make sure you're using the right puller head for the desired valve seat to be extracted. And fourth, please use the provided operating instructions when using. If the instructions are followed, the quick release valve seat pull will work without fail. We've also identified a few other checkpoints that must be followed to ensure the tool works properly every time of use. Your first major inspection point is the bottom nose. You want to make sure this is threaded flush with the puller shaft and hand tight. Your second inspection point is your cross pin access hole. You want to ensure that the outer collar is turned at least a quarter turn away from the slot on the puller shaft. This will prevent the cross pin from sliding out while in use. The next major inspection point is the pull knob. As you can see, the pull knob is to remain locked at all times. The pull knob is only to be released when you are releasing the seat. Upon releasing the seat, be sure to re-engage or lock the pull knob back in its place. The next major inspection point is the acorn nut. The acorn nut acts as a visual cue when the tool is operated correctly. The acorn nut will disappear inside the pull knob approximately one inch after the two inch nut has been properly threaded down the all thread. Another reason why you need to be sure the pull knob is re-engaged after every use is because the jaws will not properly rest on the bottom nose if the pull knob is not properly engaged in the lock position. Doing so will cause stress to the internal parts, ultimately, da ultimately damaging the tool. Therefore, please ensure the pull knob is always locked in the lock position. Now we will demonstrate how to use the tool on a mud pump fluid head. Once you've properly inspected the tool and went over the major checkpoints, it's time to operate the quick release valve seat puller. First, you set the puller inside the valve seat. As you can see, my pull knob is engaged and I can see my acorn nut. Something else you may want to do also to, sh to show that you've properly engaged the valve seat is lift up on it. If you can lift up on it and the acorn nut disappears into uh, the pull knob, you're looking good so far. As you can see on this cutout, puller head passes completely through the valve seat. We have such a tight tolerance, it may be necessary to clean or wipe down the valve seat from time to time. As you install the H block and the jack and begin to lift up on with the pull nut, you will then fully engage the seat. Once fully engaged, it's time to pressure up. Next and optional is use our bushing or centralizer. This is used to help center the puller shaft and create a straight pull. The next step just install your H block. And your pancake. We also recommend strapping down your H block or pancake. Prior to use. This will prevent the whole unit from ejecting from the mud pump. Next step, install your two inch nut. Once the nut is snug and everything is strapped down, it's time to extract the seat. As you can see, 
the seat has come loose. And now it's time to disassemble. Release the seat inside the foot pin. Make sure you re engage and unlock the pull knob. There you go, and off to your next seat. Thank you for watching the instructional video on how to properly operate our quick release valve seat puller. If follow the instructions, the puller will work without issue. If you have any questions, please contact ACU 713-896-0050 or look us up via our website www.acumen.us.com. Thank you and I appreciate your time.